Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Arizona. So it's good to see all of you here this morning. <laughs> oh, it is Vacation Bible School Sunday, so it is good to see all of you here with us this morning and uh, looking forward to hearing the kids sing. And I think, I hope they're excited to come up and sing later on in the service, so that should be fun. We do have, by the way, just, uh, I can't, I'm not going to name everybody because I can't remember everybody, but I know there was a lot of planning, there was a lot of uh, teaching, there was a lot of volunteering, there was a lot of meal prep, meal cleanup, so thank you so much to everybody uh, who helped out with Vacation Bible School, so uh, let's give all of our adults a round of applause if we could because they did... Because you can see it this morning, just the decorations alone, I think, took several hours to get down. So we appreciate everything they did. And, and we had some youth volunteers who taught and helped out with the kids. So thank you to our youth volunteers who gave up a Friday night and a Saturday. So we appreciate that as well. Very nice. So you, the next generation of the church. So we appreciate it when they're here to be able to help out and to, to do things and to learn not just to learn their Bible stories, but to learn how to teach others those stories. So that is, that is fantastic. Um, we do have, let's see, some other announcements. Of course, we have lunch following the worship service. So if you are here this morning, please join us for lunch. There will be plenty of food uh, for everybody, even if you weren't aware of that, weren't planning on that. So please join us for lunch following the worship service. Also following the worship service, this is May 21st. This is our Stott Wallace Offering Sunday. So if you would like to give to the Stott Wallace Offering, that is for our Cumberland Presbyterian missionaries. Everything that go, is given to Stott Wallace goes to support our missionaries, I think both local and overseas. So the ushers will be collecting that at the end of the service. Um, so please see them if you would like to support the Stott Wallace missionaries. And then let's, any other announcements? So I, I, talked, uh, I, I, I talked to a mom yesterday. I'm not going to, uh, no, no extra embarrassment, but if you look at the altar flowers, Happy birthday, Beth. So, uh, but we, so happy birthday. Any other announcements this morning that anybody would like to share? Yes. Quentin. Yes, next Sunday. Everybody get that? Graduation Sunday, next Sunday. We've got four graduates. There are baskets out in the fellowship hall if you'd like to give them cards uh, for their graduations. High school, one college graduate, one graduate school graduate, one medical school graduate, and it will also be Jordan's last day. So, Happy sad days. But that, that will be next Sunday. So if you're not out of town and you'll be here for Memorial Day weekend, that would be uh, wonderful to be able to stay afterwards and celebrate those graduates. Uh, thank you. Any other announcements this morning? If not, if you would join me with our preparation for worship. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name. O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night.
stand this morning. Our call to worship is Come Thou Found of Every Blessing. We'll stand and sing together. Tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing. Call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mountain fixed upon it Mount of thy redeeming love Here I raise my Ebenezer Hither by thy help I'm come and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger wandering from the fold of God. He to rescue me from danger interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace, how great a debtor Daily I'm constrained to be Let thy grace, Lord, like a fetter Bind my wandering heart to thee Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it Prone to leave the God I love Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it Seal it for thy courts above. If you would bow your heads and would you pray with me this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege to come into your house and to worship. We thank you for the privilege to teach these children of the last two days. Stories from the Bible, stories from your word, your history of your people. We are your people. Father, we pray that you would seal each one of these children that have been taught the last two days for your heavenly courts above. We pray one day, Lord, that we would all be singing together in your presence in the throne room of heaven, and we look forward to that day. We pray all these things in Jesus' name as we continue singing today. Amen. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God discloses and talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known he speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is calling and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known I 
next day in the garden alone though the night around me be falling but he bids me go through the voice of woe his voice to me is calling and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me i am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever awesome thing about worship is that we are able to spend just a moment to stop and be in his presence to know his spirit among us and his comfort among us because in troubles we all have troubles some of us more than others right now but all of us will suffer and hurt and deal with problems but he alone is the rock that we can cling to in every situation would you stand and sing rock of ages with us please Rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flow be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Not the labors of my hands can fulfill thy law's demands. These for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. In my hand no price I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. While I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyes shall close in death, when I rise to worlds unknown, and behold thee on thy throne, rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. can be seated. Would you hear our offertory thought this morning as it is printed in the bulletin. Do good and share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. With that thought, I'll ask the ushers to come forward and receive the Lord's offering this morning.
Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Heavenly Father, you have shared everything about yourself with us, including giving up your one and only Son that he might offer a sacrifice that would cleanse us of our sins and provide a path to eternal life. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would take what we have shared in return and that you would use it to do good through us as you see good, as you understand good in our world, in our community here in Bowling Green. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We come to our time of prayer this morning. I do have one update, if you would. Um, a prayer request we've had on for a while from uh, Floyd and Stephanie Houston. Uh, Bridget Hoffmeyer passed away, so uh, please pray for her family this week. Family Bridget Hoffmeyer. So, do we have other prayer requests to share this morning or updates to give? Yes, Marianne. Okay. That is... Uh, Mary Ann and Willard's great-grandson, Sam Nestor, will be spending the summer in Zimbabwe doing mission work. So please keep Sam Nestor on your prayers as he will be in Zimbabwe. Yvonne Pet Hetty. Yvonne Hetty and family. Okay. And Travis's family and the passing of his great uncle. What did you say his name was? Ron Pretty. Ron Pretty. Yeah, Brenda. Our country. Please continue to pray for our country, yes. Well, if there are no others, let's bow our heads this morning and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning and we, we lift up the family of Bridget to you. Father, we pray that you would watch over them, that you would comfort them in this season of, of grief and of loss. We pray for the same thing for Travis's family, the the passing of his great uncle, Ron Pretty, and just the grief and the loss that comes with that, just that you would watch over each of these families. Father, we lift up Yvonne Hetty to you as well. And you know all the details, you know the situation, Lord. We, we place her in your hands. Father, we pray that you would watch over Sam as he travels to do mission work. We thank you that this young man has answered the call to go and work in the fields that your son told us are ripe for the harvest. We pray that you would keep him safe and that the mission work he does and the others who work with him, that they would be fruitful and that they would further your kingdom. And we pray all of these things, praying as your son taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now for what we've been looking forward to this morning, our children's program.
Um, first of all, I want to say, look at this amazing group of children we had this weekend. It has been so much fun. Almost makes me cry when I talk about it. Uh, but I want to reiterate one other thing that Brother Mike said. We had four of our youth that stepped up really nicely this weekend. Madison, Trevor, Hunter, and Blake, they got out here and they taught classes, they helped with recreation, they came over here on their day off of school on Tuesday and helped us decorate. These kids are what we want these children to be in the future. This is our future here, people. So the fact that our senior highs will step up and help us was really a blessing for us this week. So now we're gonna go and you're gonna get to hear these kids sing. Miss Quincy and I have been visiting you guys all weekend and we have had so much fun because in Harley the Gila monster we met him and he told us that God loves you no matter what he puts things in your world that he knows you will love on the count of three call out something that God made that makes you really super happy are you ready one two three Wow, great responses. We call these gifts God sightings. Today you received a special gift to help you remember to look for evidence of God all around you. Raise your arm in the air so I can see your watch, your watch for God wristbands. God sightings help us watch for God's love and power every single day. A God sighting could be a prayer, a hug with a parent, the sunshine or a kind word from a friend. Okay, let's sing some more. Uh. 
Great singing. Miley, the roadrunner, told us that God is with you everywhere. It's so good to know God never leaves me when I'm worried or afraid or feel alone. God is right there with me, beside me all the time. When I get my feelings hurt or I feel sad, there's God reminding me of his love. Well, my friend invited me over to play a video game that my parents said not to play. My parents won't ever find out, hmm, right? Well, I'm not sure about God being with me everywhere. There's this show a lot of my friends have watched. My parents say I'm not supposed to watch it, but they're not around, right? I want to see what everyone's talking about. God is awesome and great, but the Bible also tells us that God is love. Maybe you'll make wiser choices when you remember that God is always with you. God wants to be with you because he loves you, not because he's spying on you.
watching, watching over you. God is watching, watching over you. God is watching, watching over you. the wild canine told us that God is in charge. Sometimes we wish we could take the lead and make the decisions, but God is so great, he's in charge of everything. That doesn't mean God is bossy or a bully. It means we can trust our awesome God to take care of all the details and plans. We just don't have to worry about them. Sometimes our problems feel heavy, things like scary news, bullies, or the unknown future. And sometimes those things feel like they're coming at us. Sometimes problems seem out of control. But God is in charge, and we can trust him. Sometimes we just have to be still and trust in God's power to see what he can do for us. Join with 
Rolo, the armadillo, told us, God is awesome and powerful. He's the creator of everything we see. God is even the creator of light. God's son, Jesus, said he is the light of the world. When he lived on earth, Jesus shone God's love, power, and truth. He healed, he fed, and he forgave people. People cheered and celebrated Jesus as a gift from God. But other people thought Jesus lied. They arrested Jesus, they broke his body, and they crucified him on a cross. That day, Jesus died. Death is final. The end. Game over. Jesus couldn't fix it. They couldn't undo it. It's, Jesus' friends couldn't fix it. They couldn't undo it. It's over. Done. Everyone thought that death was the end of Jesus. But God has power no one can even imagine. God is stronger than sin, even stronger than death. God's monumental love meant he gave up his son's life. He did that for each of us. Jesus' power over death is there for each one of us.
God's love is unchanging because that's what Jet the Jackrabbit told us, that God is surprising. God is big, awesome, and creative. He loves to surprise his kids. Sometimes God brings us bright, sunshiny days when we thought it would rain. Sometimes God brings surprising friendships into our lives, ones that grow and grow for years. Sometimes God might even allow us to feel blue or sad because he has a bigger plan we can't understand right now. God never changes. His love and power are always there for us. But he is always full of surprises. When you're a friend of God's, your life is surprising. I've loved spending time with you here at Mon Monumental. I'm thankful for all of you. You've been my God sightings this week. Hearing your beautiful voices, watching you show kindness to each other, and listening to your laughter has rocked my weekend. Continue to look for God all around you and look for ways to let others know about our great God and his monumental love. Okay, stand up. Are these guys amazing or what? Okay, so we have a little something we're going to do for our, our crew people. So we want our Bible study and our teachers to please stand. They taught our classes. Stand up. Come on, Garth. Okay, then we had, now, this is, this, I'm sorry, I have to say, I have to brag on Garth just a minute, because he always takes the preschoolers, the three-year-olds to kindergarten, and I think that's pretty phenomenal. So anyways, and then we have a lot of volunteers that help. We have people in the kitchen. We have people setting up tables. We have people cleaning up. We have crafts. We have a lot of fun. So the rest of the people, please stand up. Okay. Come on, Harmony. Okay, so now this is where you guys, on the count of three, we're going to tell them they're awesome. Okay, y'all ready? One, two, three. You're awesome! Yay! Okay, sit down. Sit down. Okay, now we kind of pulled one on Jordan, we hope. He probably knows. We're not very good about keeping secrets around here, but we really tried hard. So this is going to be his going away Sunday because we wanted to do it on a Sunday where our families were here, all of our children are here, and that. So our luncheon after service is really not a Vacation Bible School luncheon. It's actually a going away party for Jordan. So we have a nice Green Bay Packer cake for him. <laughs> So come on, Jordan, come up here with your children, all your little people, Brother Mike. So we're going to give Jordan a couple of gifts, um, and then we've got, um, we've got a basket of cards that are out on the table out there um, that we'll be giving you when we give you your cake. And, um, but we just want to thank you for your service to our church and to all these little people and for bringing our senior highs to Jesus. All right, let's just step right down here, Jordan. We'll step with the kids. Those new monitors make it fun, don't they? <laughs> All right. Now, I, I thought about this gift for a while. I was trying to figure out what to give Jordan. We, you know, things to help with the transition and moving and all those sorts of things. But I wanted to give him something, some, you know, a physical gift that he could take. And, and so I thought over the last few months, I know it's only been a few months, uh, I know a few things about Jordan. One, I know he likes to play basketball. So you never know. It was always fun to see what would happen on Sunday. Would he be on crutches? Would he have a leg brace? Um, <laughs> would he be okay? Would he be sprinting down the aisle like he did one Sunday? Or, or you know, the kids, right, we have two wheelchairs back there. We, we were ready just in case. So um, I gave Jordan a bit of advice one day through the week. I said, Jordan, 
you need to start running in a straight line. Right? As your knees get older, you can't, you can't pivot, you can't turn. They're like basketball will just wear out those knees. Uh, so I found you something to help you go in a straight line. So if you take that advice, take your experience from here at Cumberland Presbyterian Church in Bowling Green, and you're going to take that to Great Bridge Presbyterian Church out in, out in Virginia. So this Jordan will start July or June? June. June. So he has his next pastor lined up, his next youth director position lined up. He will start in June. You'll take what you've learned here, and you'll use it there, and I'm sure you'll improve and develop and, and learn from your past experience. So I want you to take what you've learned here and improve on things there. But I was also told a long time ago that when you go into ministry, you can only be the minister that God calls you to be. So no matter where you're at, no matter what you've learned here, you still have to be Jordan Bybee where you're going. So I think that this gift, and you, have to, you do have to show everybody, by the way, represents both taking what you've learned here and you. I, I think these are you. If they're not, you can, you can exchange them, but just, I think those are you. See, I also know he loves shoes. So. Here we go. Nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That in there. All right. Well, let's pray. We're going to bless the food. Like, like Dana said, the lunch afterwards, it is, it is in Jordan's honor. It is for him as he prepares for this next season of life. So we're going to pray. Then we're gonna, we'll bless the food. We'll sing our hymn of consecration, have our benediction. Then we will go eat. So let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the, the seasons of life that you give us. And thank you for this past season here at Bowling Green CP Church and the, the ministry that Jordan has, has been engaged in, the, the lives that he has shaped, the seeds that he has planted in the children and the youth here at Bowling Green CP Church. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all these uh, kids that are up here on the stage who have, who have sang songs, who have learned Bible stories. Uh, it is such a privilege to work in your kingdom. Lord, we pray for the next season, the next season for Jordan at Great Bridge Presbyterian Church, the next season here at Bowling Green CP Church. And just thank you that we get to be a part of each each other's lives in your kingdom, that um, when one season ends, another begins. And we just pray your blessings in every direction that we go. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, if you would stand this morning, our hymn of consecration is without him. We will stand and sing together. Without Him I could do nothing Without Him I'd surely fail Without Him I would be drifting Like a ship without a sail Jesus, oh Jesus, do you know him today? Do not turn him away, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, without him how lost I would be. Without him I would be dying Without him I'd be enslaved Without him life would be hopeless But with Jesus, thank God, I'm saved Do you know him today? Do not turn him away, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Without him, how lost I would be.
if you would receive the benediction this morning. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Okay, can we let the children go out? I see. All right.